Hello, hello, it's Brooke Sidney here, your favorite mindset and manifestation coach. And today I am coming on to talk to you about inner self-talk in a fun way, about becoming your own hype man or hype woman. But before I get into it, I just wanna remind you, there are two ways to work with me. Both of those ways are listed below, as well as two communities for all of us on this amazing personal development journey known as manifestation. So check those links out below. So today I wanna to talk to you about a very key component of manifesting your SP, manifesting more money, heck, manifesting anything that you desire. And that's truly about monitoring how we talk to ourselves, like monitoring our self-talk, monitoring our inner conversations, right? Because believe it or not, your subconscious, which is what is being programmed here, it's what we're trying to make sure is thinking the way that you want to think and is feeling the way that you want to think in that dominant way, in the way that is in alignment with your wish fulfilled. Heck, it is feeling and being and existing in that state as if you have your wish fulfilled. We want our subconscious aligned with that. But guess what our subconscious is listening to all the times? Us. Our subconscious is listening to us all the time. We are talking to ourselves all the time. We have like, I think 70,000 thoughts a day. So as you can imagine, a lot of those thoughts, our inner critic is coming up, that doubt, doubtful self, that fearful self, that little me as some people call it, the insecure me, the jealous me, the angry me, the doubtful me, the one person who thinks that I can't have it. So in essence, that little small voice, not the godly whisper voice, but our self voice, our self concept voice is whispering to us the way that we've been thinking about ourselves, right? And honestly, sometimes the truth hurts. Many of us wouldn't talk to ourselves, wouldn't talk to our children, wouldn't talk to our friends the way that we talk to ourselves. Are you following me? Like, we would not dare say the critical and damaging and mean thoughts to our child, our friends, our family, our lover that we actually say to ourselves. So today I want you to work on that because that is really key to improving our self-concept. Yes, a lot of you have heard of now having affirmations that change your negative intrusive thoughts and I'll tag that video as well as the doubts because those are natural, those are gonna come up. But this video is specifically about our inner conversations, also known as our self-talk. So when you're doing things like, I remember when, those are kind of triggering what we think about our inner conversations, like imagining people talking to ourselves or imagining talking to other people, but also imagining talking to yourself. So I'm gonna suggest that you start really becoming aware of what you are saying about yourself. What are the beliefs that you are holding about yourself, right? Do you, I talked about main character energy, make sure you watch that video. Are you giving main character energy? Because main character energy knows that they're the bomb, they're the prize, that they're chosen, that they're loved, that they're the it girl. They're the it guy, right? Things are working out their way. Are you giving that energy? Are your thoughts lining up with that? And more importantly, are you telling that self that stuff to yourself? So one of the things I advise my clients to do that are really working on their self-concept, really working on feeling like the best thing, especially if they're trying to manifest an SP. Oftentimes we jump to affirmations about the SP when our self-concept is wobbly, when our self-concept isn't tight. We don't have the self-concept the, for the person that we want to manifest. The person that we want to be with wouldn't want to be with the person that we are presently or the way that we talk to ourselves. And so that's where we need to improve. So one of the big ways I think is really helpful is to take on the idea, because I love to make things fun, as becoming your own hype man, right? Your own hype person. Now, you know, the joke is that there's certain signs like Leo's and certain signs that, you know, they think that they're the sun and they're like super great. You got to take on your Leo persona. You got to take on your big man persona. You got to take on the it girl persona, the lucky girl persona, the main character energy, and you have to hype yourself up. You have to talk to yourself like, I know you can do it. You always get it done. You are amazing. You are so beautiful. 
you are always chosen. Man, everybody wants to be with you. Or the specific person that you're thinking about that's in your heart, they want to be with you. You always get the business. You always get the sales. You are sales person of the year. You are the greatest writer on the face of this planet. You need to become your own hype person. Yes, become your own hype person. And bonus points if you can do it in the mirror, which is called mirror work. This is a process that was coined by Louise Hay. It is very powerful for you to look yourself into your own eyes in the mirror, like looking yourself in your eyes in the mirror and talk that mess to yourself. Talk that hype to yourself. Hype yourself up in the mirror to yourself. You're so beautiful. You're so cute. You're so fine. You're so amazing. You're so giving. You're so loving. Everyone wants to be with you. You are such an amazing millionaire. You're such an amazing business owner and CEO. You get all the deals, all the stuff. You just hype yourself like as if you were going to hype your child or you're going to build up your friend's self-esteem or you have a PR person that's out there shouting all the good game about you, right? They are tooting your horn. So that's what you have to do for yourself. You have to lead yourself. Manifestation and becoming a conscious creator is about leading ourselves. And yes, we have to continue motivate ourselves and we have to talk to ourselves in a way that helps us win, that encourages us, that gets us into excitement around our lives. And I believe that this practice, becoming your own hype man, and especially combining that with mirror work will help you in your self-concept work. It will, it will help you in your self-concept work. And at the bare minimum, it will lift your spirits. So it is my hope that this video has been helpful for you. I really wanna encourage you to become your own hype person. I really do. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel, like this video, and turn that bell on because I drop videos daily. See you tomorrow.